Now, if you're just tuning in, it's our ladies' night out, and we're asking what's the role of consistency and how much of it do we see these days, you know, with young people like us. <laughs> now, please let us hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join this conversation, tweet at us at WaysHowAfrica1 with the hashtag WaysHow, or send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081 803 So I saw a picture of, um, today is um, there's a media lady, Azuka. I think maybe if you know her, she's... Um, she worked for a very long time in um, this day before she moved to, I think she now owns her media hub or something. I think media hub. So I saw a picture that T.Y. Bello um, posted and I, I, I thought to share, you know, because you see some of these things, you see these people, you just be celebrating them, but you do not know that they've actually put in the work, you know, a long time ago. They're, they're not just, it's not a today, so it's not a today success. She was saying something about how they used to work together they were pregnant together i don't know if they can find that picture because i think i sent it to the team you know how they would go jumping from here to here yeah. even in pregnancy and everything she's 50 today and all of that so you can imagine that you know because i i think um this is where i see a lot a lot of us missing it right we forget that this everybody has a story every has everybody has a journey and we just think that oh Maybe because of Instagram, overnight success, like um, the plantain chips eating girl. Like, what's yeah. the, <laughs> what's <laughs> her <Summer> name? <laughs> <laughs> that, you know, she just, between uh, COVID lockdown and, and, now, and now, she's gotten tons of en endorsements. Just, you know, the girl, uh, Maury, now you are, in content, you are in comedy space. The girl that eats chips, while she's talking, she will laugh <laughs> and eat chips and all of that. She just blew, you know, that's yes, the blue. So. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's not everybody. There are some people that are going to have that kind of um, success, right? But even at that, that girl, you think it's easy to be eating chips and finding something to... You see, everything you're doing, as long as you do not put consistency in it, it cannot work. I remember when I started watching mm -hmm. um, Brother Shaggy's um, skits, yeah. or is it Wodli Arole's skit? All of them, when I started watching their skits, I was wondering that for how long can they... Continue. continue but brother shaggy has been consistent look at taoma they have all been consistent so you now see their success you think is a mistake it's not you must put in that work you must put in that hard work you know you must stay on it you must be creative you must find so anything that comes to you now when you are somebody that believes in the spirit of consistency right everything jumps out. like i said i was saying to you that every time somebody jump i mean sends me a post or anything i'm already seeing a topic on ways inside of it yeah. do you understand that i'm beginning to see it in the eye of topics you know so i don't know <laughs> I think um, one person that I can use an, as an example is La Sisi Leno. Because um, when he started his kids, a lot of people were asking, okay, he has been using this Snapchat filter. What if this filter eventually goes? Because obviously, mm -hmm. Snapchat always um, upgrades. upgrades. And then people kept asking what will happen, what will happen, what will happen. Before we knew what was, what was, um, what was happening, he, 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 I think he did a stand-up um, comedy show where he was invited and all of that. And then people were like, oh, okay, this is where it's going to end for him. Like, okay, what's the next step? What's the next, next step? Everyone was expectant. Like, we needed to see what he was going to do next. And he shocked us because between then and now, he's still very good. Mm. He's very, very consistent. Like he's putting in the work. And now if we want to bring it to um, the normal company space, now let's leave um, content creation for example. Now we're bringing in, um, let me use my tech space. I work in a tech um, company. Mm. Now, my engineers, every, every week, they are being sent um, about three to four trainings. Mm. Every week. Now, the thing is, you have to be up to date. Mm. You have to read up. You have to improve on your skills. You have to upgrade. Because if you don't, a new person is going to come in and he's going to chance you. Mm. Now, the thing is, you get projects every day. And technology keeps evolving and is evolving. Now, if you don't evolve with it, you'll be left behind. So all they do is they have to, every day I'm receiving emails, oh, Jennifer, this particular exam, this one, we need to do this particular course. And I'm looking at, okay, okay, what's the next step? What are you doing next? I'll do the application for you. I'll do all of this. And, and then I'm seeing how much they have grown. I have this colleague, Sochima Hai. He has grown so much between 2018 when we started working together and now. Hmm. And I've seen the growth. I've seen how consistent 
he has been. And there are sometimes that your colleagues will complain, your friends will complain about work. Oh, it is not going the way I want. Somebody is chancing me there. Mm. And then you just have to tell them you have to persevere because even your supervisors that you're looking up to, mm. they have been in the game for a very long time. I had this supervisor. He doesn't work with us anymore. Mr. Francis, he's amazing. He's one person that... Um, when we have meetings with our bosses and then we're done, he comes to every other person because we're new then. And then he tells us, see, you have to be very patient, but you also have to put in the work. Everyone is looking at you. They might not say anything now, but the truth is the day they will need your skills, they will call you for it. Hmm. And if you're not ready, hmm. they'll push you aside. That is, if, that is where failure they'll, happens. And, and it, it, it's so amazing because everyone listened. And I can see the progress in everybody for three years now. Hmm. It's amazing. And um, like I think one thing um, young people like myself, one thing we fail to we fail to realize is you have to be very patient. And I understand that social media has made things look like, oh, at the snap of your finger, it changes. It's not true. Hmm. It's not true. The truth is, there's always been pressure, even before social media. Hmm. It's just that social media has enlarged it. Yeah, it. Social media just has come to show you that, oh, today I'm just wearing the normal clothes. <laughs> that maybe I, I bought a down select the other day. <laughs> and then tomorrow I'm wearing Gucci. I'm wearing um, LV. I'm wearing Versace. Trust me. People actually put in work. Hmm. The only thing is, I'm going to you don't show you. I'm going to show you what I want you to see. Yeah. I'm not going to show you where I'm struggling or where hmm. I'm hustling or the days where I'm on my bed crying and shedding tears and being depressed. No. You won't show that. I won't show you that. Absolutely. I would probably have cried maybe the <laughs> night before. Or maybe when I woke up in the morning, I've shed tears. That, like, oh, so, this work is stressing me. And then by the time I take my phone, I'm like, oh, <laughs> new hair. <laughs> you got it. Let me come to Mori. <laughs> Some days I don't want to get off of my bed, <laughs> trust me. <laughs> okay, so I don't I don't I don't think there's anything as overnight success, if mm -hmm. I'm going to be honest, as you have said. Like people have already put in work. When you hear that all of a sudden she just blew. Nobody just blows. And when you <laughs> said the girl that all she has to do is eat chips, that's the wrongest thing that you can say to any content creator. Is you not just to like they can strangle you and I'm angry for her on her behalf at you. You cannot say just to. Nobody's just, just. It's not easy. <laughs> the way that she is the team, hmm. it has to be strategic. And the thing about, the thing about success is even if you're blowing it overnight, you're going to have to do times 50 the work to retain hmm. that success. Hmm. If you don't want to be a one hit wonder hey. so to keep getting that endorsement, to keep getting, and that, that one is even very depressing. You were once famous. Hey, they will not put on you back to up and coming. <laughs> so you want to, you want to enjoy your process before you finally get to Absolutely. you know the success stage, and then you know how to manage it. Okay, you know, Mori. Anybody just blows, and then when overnight. the comes, yeah. Mori, hold on the thought. I think we have Samuel from Kaduna. Samuel. Okay. Hello. Hi. Thank you for joining us. A fourth caller. Wow! Thank you so <laughs> much for joining us. You're welcome. I always love your program from uh, TVC, The View. Oh, wow. I'm talking about Uwa now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I actually want to contribute about the topic. Go ahead. The, the truth of the matter is this. If you are serious about whatever you are doing, whether you are happy or not with that job, I think uh, you should be able to make something out of it. Mm. First, seriousness. Most of us are not serious with our life, with our work, with our friends. And the things around us are really bad. I want you guys to flash back. You see a teacher back then when we were growing. You see somebody has been uh, teaching for 15, 30 years. And they are happy with this. Hmm. Yeah. The question you ask now is, the young people we have around us, are they even ready to work for five years and they are happy with this? Hmm. 
Thank you. Thank you, Samuel. Thank you. Mm. We are Sorosoke generation. Mori. <laughs> 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 Why well, do you agree with Sammy? Well, because I think I think it is social media that has made us impatient, right? Honestly, because like you rightly said, like what Mori was saying, right? You are the ones seeing the success. You did not see them when they were struggling, and like you rightly said, most of them is even when that you know you know when the final hit comes yeah. that now puts you out there in the world. That is when the pressure is like times fifty, like you know. That is what, because then now everybody's looking forward to, like Brash, Bra, yeah. Brashagi now. No, not Brashagi, sorry, last that you mentioned. Mm -hmm. Everybody was looking for Brasunde every Sunday, you know? Brasunde, they were looking forward to that skit every Sunday. So even he, how he managed to, to shift people's attention away from that, because you, everybody's now consistently going to your page or looking forward to something new and all of that. You know, but you see, even outside of um, content creation, outside of, you know, um, the, the job you mentioned, even with um, lifestyle. For instance, I say I want to, I want to, I want to live a healthier lifestyle yeah. and I want to do the right things and I want to be healthy and all of that. It takes the grace of God because mm -hmm. sometimes you are just in that space where you don't feel like it. You know, there's someone that motivates me all the time, Jane. Jane, body by Jane, right? I, of course, uh, Ketensha, that one, she's, she's a motivator any day, any time. Yeah. You know, but body by Jane, I knew when she started the journey of her weight loss, and not even weight loss, fitness journey she started. Today, she's a fitness coach from, from being just regular, she just loves to, she wanted to wow. just, she's a proper fitness coach. And consistently, 7 a.m., she does not miss it. The same thing, if you go to Auntie Kate's uh, page, Ketensha, right? It's just like, I mean, so the, the consistency, right? Success does not happen over, I mean, by chance. You must be very deliberate about it. You must put in that work and you must stay on it. You know, but whether that stay power, we have it now is the question. But let me take a comment from Rafael Akori in Zaria. Rafael is always joining us from Zaria. He says, the only place success comes before work is in the dictionary. <laughs> he says, people need to be smart and focused to enable them face challenges with confidence in life. Mori, um, um, Jennifer, you had another comment. Yeah, there's a comment from Ade. Hi, Ade. He said, good evening, ladies. Consistency plus hard work plus perseverance will lead to success. But get along with someone above you to learn from not with gold diggers. Hmm. Great work, guys. Thank you, Ade. Then there is a, uh, there's a comment from Benson. He said, there is no greatness without consistency. Michael Jackson, Hussein Bolt, Yemi Alade, just to mention a few. PMB was also very consistent <laughs> until victory. victory Are you sure? <laughs> First class degree is never a fluke. It's consistent excellence throughout the course of study. Wow. Thank wow. you. Thank you, wow. Benson, for that. Thank you. Now, now, when you were talking about fitness, you see where um, I remember then in uni, um, I've always I've always loved to work out since I was um, since I was sixteen. Mm. Now after yeah after secondary school, I've always worked out. I just loved being fit because I always had this I had this goal. This is how I want to look mm. like and all of that. So all my friends then in school have always known that oh this was my lifestyle. And then when we got to final year, I saw people who said okay they wanted to fit into their graduation Dresses. dress. <laughs> <laughs> and then they will come to me, okay, I was like, okay, you know what, I'm going to set up a fitness class for the girls in the hostel, we'll do this, we'll do that, we'll do all of this, but you have to be consistent. And then I'll hear, oh, what about this slimming tea? Oh, what about this? And I'm like, it doesn't happen overnight. Mm. I didn't get here. Now, at that time, I was 23, so we're talking about between 16 years to 23. Mm. So I've been consistent, and you want to do that oh, in two, two months? Two weeks. Mm. How? You, you, if, if you want to live that lifestyle, it means that you have to strategize, first of all. You have to have a positive mindset. And then you need to let yourself know that you have to be disciplined all through. And yes, there are days when you don't, you don't have like the it. motivation. Yeah. And that is fine. That is totally okay. But you cannot stay there. So if you have two days or three days or a mm -hmm. week of not being motivated, my good sister and brother, 
the <laughs> next week you have to look for that motivation. Find that motivation. <laughs> because nobody would do it for you. Mm. Nobody. The thing is, even the people who are your mentors or your sponsors or your parents, people who are always supporting you, there is so much they can do for you. Nobody is going to put motivation inside you or nobody is going to put patience or discipline inside of you. No, it's something you have to, you have to, you have to culture. It's something you have to grow. You have to build it to get to that point. Hmm. And it's, it, it all takes discipline, patience, hard work, everything in life. Those three things, very important. Hmm. Absolutely. Very important. Mori, let me come to you. I mean, I feel like Jennifer has said everything. Come to me. Um like say more things about being consistent no your final thoughts the great so let me oh, take this yeah, comment like it says said, the no, great no, nations no. that govern the world today it's consistency that sustains their greatness that is the truth but let me just hear your final thoughts on on this if you were to give an advice to someone i mean maybe in your own space you know because you are in content creation generating content and all of that what would be like you know your like words of motivation because they might be needing it right now Okay, so I would say that consistency does not necessarily mean doing the same thing over and over again. It just means showing up. And also resting is part of consistency because it's only when you take care of yourself. Like there's no pride in saying that I didn't sleep for seven years straight. I was, you know, grinding and hustling. You, then when your money comes, you will just die because you will be sick and you won't be able to enjoy it. Do you understand? Sure. So consistency doesn't necessarily mean doing the same thing over and over again. It just means showing up, you know, looking for new avenue to do, you know, different things. And if it's doing the same thing as well, just make sure that you do it well. Always know, your, I feel like your body knows, your, just, just listen, try and block out the outside noise and listen to yourself. Mm, absolutely. Go ahead. Then. Okay, I think Jennifer just said, uh, she summed it up nicely. I was going to add that for me, I think um, the greatest things that I've learned over the years, um, watching myself and watching my inner thoughts, be careful what you tell yourself especially when you're on social media be very very careful because it is very easy for you to slip and lose focus right sometimes i think that what even causes that demoralized spirit is that you have you you're looking beyond you know where you are and you are focusing on somebody else's yeah, so success and somebody else's growth mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because if you truly check mm -hmm. that now you analyzing yourself from where you were and where you are now mm -hmm. today, right? That mm -hmm. it is, if you have been putting the work, there has been growth. The only thing is that you are mm -hmm. not appreciating that growth because your eyes is focused on somebody else's time. Everybody's mm -hmm. time will come. That is the truth. And I, I love what Jennifer said about what your boss advised you, that when the time comes that they are now looking for your skill, would you be ready? Mm -hmm. would, you, would the skill be readily available? What gives tomorrow that the, mm -hmm. the president of the United States wants to create a skit that appeals to Muslims, w Muslim women and everything, and yet it is funny and all of that? that they, what gives that, oh, it is not more that they've been monitoring your page and they've been seeing how consistent, you know, you are doing your skits mm -hmm. and it is, it is friendly to the Muslim community? So what gives that it is not you now, they will now call that. No, there's one comedian in Nigeria somewhere that, uh, that's been good. So tomorrow, everybody will now see Mori all over in the global stage. They will say, oh, look at the young girl that read the poetry during um, Biden's, um, what's her name? I, I, I forget her name now. Yeah, Biden's, inauguration. Um, Biden's inauguration. Yeah. Imagine, that girl, she's been consistent. But somebody just saw her, say, ha, ha, ha. No, she's been doing it since consistently, it is based on her track record that somebody saw it and said, this person is value and she must come to this world stage. Mm -hmm. So that's my, you know, do you want to add quickly yes. one minute? Okay, so um, I think the key word for me that I've always had over the years and it's something my parents actually taught me is contentment. Hmm. You have to be contented. Now, being content doesn't mean that you're going, to, you're okay with where you are. Where you are. Mm -hmm. It means that no matter what, you won't over push yourself or over stretch yourself to the point where you cannot get yourself back. Mm -hmm. Just be content mm. with where you are now and still put in the work. And I promise you, success is 
nearby. Absolutely. It's nearby. Absolutely. It's nearby. Absolutely. We've had a fantastic show. Thank you so much for to Samuel and who those that tried to call us. <laughs> we, are, we apologize <laughs> again. <laughs> Thank you so much to everyone that uh, joined in the conversation. I mean, for us, this this night's conversation is to speak to ourselves, right? Um, success will come, you know, but we just need to do our own part. Bible says Paul plants, Apollo waters. I'm sure the Quran will have their own version, but it is God that gives the increase. Yes. So your job, your job has always been and would all forever remain you planting and watering your seed. That's your job. The, the growth and the success and the increase, that one comes from God. All right, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Mm. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, Maury. Thank you, Jennifer. All right, so Waze was birthed from the need to inform, inspire, and influence lives towards action. And this year, we started our CSR focused on curbing unemployment in Nigeria. So if you are a company, please partner with us by allocating internship slots. And if you're a job seeker, keep watching Waze and follow us on all our social media handles, as this will be an all-year-round engagement. So tell your friends to keep all eyes on Waze. Now, in case you missed today's quote, here it is again. Success isn't always about greatness. It's about consistency. Consistent hard work gains success. Greatness will definitely come. That's from Dwayne Johnson. We'll see you tomorrow live at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen. Enjoy.